Hello pretties, who's ready to take a quick peek inside the Pretty Presets Luminous Collection? Guys, this collection is a blast to play with and infuse your images with gorgeous light enhancements. Let's take a quick look here over here on the left. I have our Luminous Collection open. There are so many different looks here to suit virtually any lighting situation. We have our bokeh up here at the top and um, virtually any kind of flare you can imagine. Notice the different orientations. A lot of times we'll have them for both left and right. And there's different hazes and sun rays. I mean, these are so much fun to play with and look at um, just to see how um, they can enhance your images. Um, down at the bottom, we have our super funky, retro, gorgeous light leaks, which are a lot of fun to play with as well. Now, in your collection, you'll have the horizontal orientation. You also will have our beta vertical luminous collection as well for your vertical images. Now real quick here, I do want to mention that the luminous collection was created and optimized for Lightroom 5 through 6 and Creative Cloud. So let's go ahead and edit an image. We're just going to scroll down here and use one of the bokehs, and I'm going to choose rainbow. Now, before I click on it, I do want to mention, notice how the background of this image is very creamy and blurred. Bokeh naturally occurs with the creamy, blurry background, so it's going to look most natural on that type of image. Okay, now there are a few changes that I want to make. Notice how the bokeh is landing on her face and lighting up her face quite a bit here. So we don't want that to happen and this is actually great because I want to show you guys how customizable this collection is and how you can move the bokeh off of your subject or delete it or uh, make it larger or smaller. So very, very simple to use and to customize to your images. So we're just gonna click on the radial filter. Notice all of our pins that are appearing on the screen. This is where all of our bokeh is coming from, okay? It stems from these pins. If you don't see the pins, go uh, just look towards the bottom of your screen. See where it says show edit pins? Mine is set to always, so you can do auto. Uh, just make sure it's not set to never or selected. Okay, so I can kind of click on them and see the outline and figure out which ones are landing on her face here. Okay, this one isn't too bad. It's a little bit on her hair. I want to move this one back. Notice how I'm just clicking and dragging to move. Now I can also click, right click on it and select delete if I want to delete that all together. I'm just going to move this one up here and I can also shift click and drag outwards to keep the orientation or the exact proportions of the um, bokeh. Okay, and I can also zoom out a little bit to see if there's any additional pins which I found one just up here above the image that's covering her face and I can just back that off a little bit. Okay, so everything's looking really good. I'm gonna press done, and you can see a real quick before and after. Absolutely magical. Who's ready for some more, guys? We're going to move on to the next image, and let's go ahead and add a little bit of sunshine into this image. So we're going to use Sunshine 2, and we're going to bring it, uh, have it coming in from the left-hand side. So we have Sunshine 1 that's just a little bit of a glow, we want to add a little bit more of a glow. There's sunshine too. And again, if that's just coming over your subject space a little bit too much, we're just going to click on our radial tool and find the pin and just back it off or move it around uh, wherever we want and press done. It's that simple. And we've created all of these amazing looks for you guys. Another real quick before and after because they're so much fun. And let's keep moving on. We're going to add some sun rays to this image. I just love that we were able to include these really super fun sun rays in this collection. And they really add a lot of fun and whimsy to any image. And we're going to use sun rays top. Bam. Look at that. That's amazing. 
we've got just a little bit of extra light coming in from behind her here. I love it. Another before and after really lights up the image. And we're going to move on and play with some more bokeh. And this image is going to have the creamy bokeh. Notice how, again, we've got a blurred background here. Gorgeous. Before and after, guys. Okay, we're moving on to our second to last image. I know I'm having a blast, too. I'm really sad to be done with this tutorial, but super happy for you guys to play with this collection and have just as much fun using it as I am right now. Okay, so let's play with the sun rays a little bit more here. We're going to use sun rays left. And notice how the sun rays are coming in from the left-hand side of the image. Now, again, we can absolutely customize these. If there's a ray covering her face like this one here, I can kind of back that off. Um... Or I can even take it and decrease the exposure so the lighting goes down just a little bit. And even these larger pins, I can decrease the exposure if it's coming off too bright for any particular image. So I'm just kind of, I'm clicking on them and reducing the exposure here. Super, super simple. Notice how each ray has its own individual settings. There we go. Voila. Super, super simple, guys. Okay, let's move on to our last image. This has already been edited with our vertical beta collection. You'll have fun playing with that one as well. And it's got looks for both the left and right orientations, depending on how you take your images. So definitely play with that collection until you find the right look that works for your image. Here's a real quick before and after we picked pink tangerine for this one and notice again how we have our pins all I did here was take the light and drag it out over the subjects and I was done with this preset okay I want to thank you guys so so much for taking a quick peek inside the pretty presets luminous collection with me I really had a blast digging into this collection with you all and as always thanks so much for watching pretty presets